button oh, on your thumb, is. and then just close it, and it goes into hibernation. Oh, okay. Do you mind being on the camera, Andy? Okay, cool. Do you want to go, like, instead of holding it like that, put your hand in there? And that's a little more comfortable for you. Hey everybody, it's been a couple of days since I've posted anything. I'm still getting over this cold, but I'm on the backside of it for sure. And I've got uh, Young He uh, is holding the camera. We're working on her rig. It's a Pro Master. She was at the van build and she bought a bunch of stuff to have it installed. And you know, at the van build, we only do what we can. So there's a lot of unfinished business going on with her. and. One of the things that we're doing is we're swapping her fans. She's got a Max fan in the front and a Fantastic fan in the back. And of course those Max fans have a hood that kind of goes back behind the fan a little bit and it's landing on her solar panel. And it's just not working that way. It's, it's making noise, it's blocking the solar panel from the sun. And so I've got Andy here with me. Andy's been in a couple of van builds. He was at Schoolie Palooza. And he stopped by to drop off uh, some parts that he's not using on his bus that maybe we can use on somebody else's rig. And he and I together are going to swap these fans. And uh, maybe if there's time, take a look at the plumbing. She also wanted to see if she could plumb her sink. And I think Andy not, might know a thing or two about plumbing. So we'll see if we can get his two cents in on that. <laughs> but otherwise, we, that's what I've been up to, that and uh, getting over being sick. And we've got a, another solar build and I've been building out my trailer you know, I got a bigger trailer to hold the, uh, yeah, we can show that. Um, I got a bigger trailer to hold the sound equipment and so I decided to get organized. It's been something that I've been fighting for years. I've, I kind of have a battle with organization, but I'm starting to win it a little bit. I got a bigger toolbox and labeled all the drawers and it's gonna be a work in progress, but the dirt bike's gonna go inside. I cut the motorcycle hitch off the back. You're probably hearing the generator right now running, uh, charging some batteries for Monica until we get her solar set up. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna put a solar panel on the trailer and run some power to it so I can charge all my uh, cordless tools. And if I need to run a little uh, corded power tool, I'll be able to do that. It just seems like the projects never end. And then of course, I'm gonna install a couple of solar panels on the side of my bus. Right now I'm maxing out at about 300 and 50 watts on a good day, maybe 400. And so I'm gonna add some more solar panels to the side of the bus so I don't have to run the generator as much. Always some stuff going on around here, but that's enough jibber jabbering for me. Let's, uh, me and Andy get uh, started on this uh, fan job. Quieter, just a little bit better. Well, I did, uh, I have a fantastic fan, and what made a huge difference for me, and I would recommend for you, is see the hood I put on mine? Yeah. It lets you sleep in. This one might need a little bit of butyl tape. Oh, I got it, man. Fantastic. Okay. So just remember, these go yeah. side side. Front to front like that. Yep. yep. Okay, the screws are bedded up with the holes. That's what I'm checking right now.
beautiful if they did, but I don't think they're going to. And then if that doesn't do it, then we'll just pull out real sockets. Yeah. We're right back to the same problem? Yeah. All right, I'm just it up. I'm just gonna leave this long because we don't care if we loop it. Right. You know what I mean? And that way we know it's gonna, you're gonna be able to go around it when you put the flange in, when right. you put the uh, ceiling on. Right. So we'll just leave it like that. Okay. When you're installing a fan, this is really important. You've got a white and a black wire coming from the fan, and you probably have a black and a red wire coming from the fuse block. You should have it on a fuse block. It's probably like a seven and a half amp fuse. It shouldn't pull more than maybe four amps, so even a five amp fuse might do it, but I would check the manual. Anyway, when you go to marry these wires and butt splice them together, you're gonna think, well, this one's black and this one's black. Maybe I should put them together. That's wrong, black goes to red and white goes to black. So just always remember that and you'll never have it wrong. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Now my solar panels are free now. Thank you.